Joining me now, Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. And Tom, good to have you with us. Let's you, start man. with, uh, first of all, Rosenstein's role in this and what we know uh, of, his, uh, of his intentions and how it is he survived this long, if indeed those intentions were nefarious, as some would claim. Well, he's no longer in the Justice Department, so it was a, he was slowly rolled out the door, I guess, uh, because his, uh, his, his explanations, I don't think, were persuasive. Uh, certainly, Mr. McCabe, uh, his credibility is lacking, but this memo was written the day of the meeting. And McCabe says, look, he offered, this, this, this is the extraordinary thing. McCabe goes over the Rosenstein's office and says, I'm investigating the president. And he says, you're a witness. And Rosenstein starts confessing and says, well, I'll wear a wire on the president. And McCabe says, well, uh, we'll get back to you. We'll, we'll ask our team about it. Now, why would he pursue that if it was a sarcastic remark or evidently a sarcastic remark? But here you have McCabe and Rosenstein both abusing their powers to target President Trump and seriously discussing, it looks like, wearing a wire on the president uh, you've got McCabe on his own initiating a spy operation on the president, calling it a counterintelligence operation on the president. All of this is documented in two pages. We had to wait over a year for it, for the FBI to finally cough it up. And this is exactly the sort of thing that the media doesn't want you looking at as it plays its Ukraine gambit in the latest, ver uh, in the latest uh, iteration of their uh, coup argument against President Trump. This was the coup. The heart of it is here in this document, and now we're talking about phone calls over Ukraine. Unbelievable. It, it is unbelievable, particularly when you consider that now, uh, in a phased revelation, if you will, uh, following the, uh, the onset of this uh, manufactured uh, uh, nonsense, uh, but again, directed at the President of the United States, uh, to find that the whistleblower, whoever he or she is, uh, did not have firsthand knowledge. Uh, was operating purely on her, on hearsay, and furthermore, is not uh, in, uh, a person of the intelligence community, and therefore could not uh, could not hold whistleblower status. And what the difference does that make? The Democrats continue their nonsense, uh, braying uh, in, in the dark with their usual uh, ignorance and venality. Yeah, you know, as I said on Twitter, Lou, and the president highlighted it a malicious, seditious conspiracy against the president. Uh, look, the idea that anyone who hears anything about what the president says to a foreign leader automatically has whistleblower status. You know what? I'm blowing the whistle on Joe Biden. I want the Democrats to investigate Joe Biden now. I'm blowing the whistle on Barack Obama, on Hillary Clinton, because I've got documentary evidence that all of them were involved in this coup conspiracy against President Trump. Obviously, they're not going to follow up on that as a matter of law, and nor should anyone else take seriously uh, this obvious attempt to try to derail the president's ability to conduct foreign policy. And let, let's be clear here. They want to freeze the president. He's not allowed to fire FBI mm -hmm. directors. He's not allowed to talk to foreign leaders. He's not allowed to exercise oversight over the corrupt FBI or DOJ. They want to make it impossible for him to do his job. And when they mm -hmm. do that, they're attacking our constitutional republic because we hired them to do the job. And these folks need to get out of the way in terms of trying to improperly impair the functioning of his office. I couldn't agree with you more. They should get out of the way. Uh, but I would hope also at the same time confess and turn themselves in for further, uh, uh, if you will, con constructive uh, rehabilitation of, uh, should they decide to rejoin society. Tom Fenton, great to have you with us. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.